Here we go, my math party people. As always, no matter what type of problem, easy or hard, start with the question. And so with that said, the information we want to start with here is how long would it take the faster roofer working alone? So already what we know here is how long would it take, which tells me time. That is time. And then it says the faster roofer working alone. Okay. So what we're looking for is the faster roofer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use blue there, faster roofer working alone. So what we can say here is that the faster roofer working alone, I'll just go ahead and say that's F, is faster roofer time. That's how long it takes the faster roofer to work alone, F, okay? Now, if you look at the information, you can absolutely tell that this is a combined work word problem. How? Watch this. One roofer can put a new roof on a house three times faster than another. Working together, they can roof a house in four days. Right there. Right there, my party people. Boom. So again, one roofer can put a new, uh, new roof three times faster than the other. But the dead giveaway right here that we're doing a combined work word problem, working together. That tells you Again, working together, combined work. Remember, the two ingredients that you need, working together and the time it takes. Whenever you have those two elements, working together and time it takes, you will always be using the formula one over A plus one over B equals one over T. Where A is how long it takes one of them, B is how long it takes the other, and T is how long it takes them working together. So. If you take a look at the information that's given to us, T working together four days. So that T, that's four. That is absolutely gonna be four. And then A and B, what are those gonna be in the problem? Well, I'm gonna take a look at the problem and I noticed that, hey, one roofer, let me actually use a highlighter here. One roofer can put on the new roof three times faster than the other. So if the faster roofer is F, let's go ahead and say, you know, one over F using uh, blue there for consistency's sake. Again, because we're looking for the faster roofer working alone. F is the faster roofer right there. So then, okay, if he works three times faster than the other roofer, that means that the other roofer takes three times the amount of time. And so if the faster one is F, the slower one is three F because it's three times slower. So he takes three times the amount of time. So there it is. One over F plus one over three F equals one over four. And so my party people, to get this done now, all we gotta do is go ahead and solve this equation, which again is not gonna be the easiest thing in the world, but once we solve it, we'll have our answer. But one thing you might notice is that the answer choices are in days and hours. Our times right now, are in days. Again, four days right here. All of these numbers are written in days. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to go ahead, solve the equation. We'll get some decimal because it's going to be five point something days, 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 days. We have the hours there. So we'll have to convert the remainder into hours. So let's not worry about that right now. Let's just go ahead and focus on solving the equation. And really quick before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this. And you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before. You know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going and let's get back to the problem. So let me go ahead, grab this right here, duplicate this, let's put it up top and let's go ahead and get to work here. So zooming in, we have one over F plus one over three F equals one over four. So what we're gonna do now is, okay, how can we combine these two fractions? How can I combine these two fractions? Sorry, I made a little mistake there. So to combine fractions, we need the same denominator. That's all we're gonna need. 
So how do we know what the similar denominator is going to be? Well, I notice F here. I notice 3F over there. What can we do? Well, what we can do is we can multiply the top and the bottom by 3 right over here. Because if I do that, then I got 3F, 3F, we're good. It's that simple. It really is that simple, especially when you're dealing with variables for sure. And so with that said, booyah, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to have 3 over 3F plus 1 over 3F equals 1 over 4. When we combine these fractions together, we'll have 4 over 3F equals 1 over 4. Nice and easy. So now that we're here, what we can do is, I know I've been teaching y'all, if you're trying to find the time together, you can go ahead and flip the fractions, which, again, in this case, won't work as easily as we hope because we see that we're solving for F. And if we flip this, this doesn't get it by itself. So in this circumstance, it's easier to cross multiply. And now look, 3F times 1 is 3F. 4 times 4 is going to be 16. So we're going to have 3F equals 16. And what we'll do now is we'll divide both sides by 3 to get F by itself. So now we have F equals 16 over 3 what? Days. We have 16 over 3 days. Remember, the problem started off in days. So we need to make sure that the problem is answered. It matches up. But now the question is, well, how the hell do we turn that into days and hours? Like, how does that actually work? What are we supposed to do here? Well, what we can do now, my party people, is going to be to take this right here. We're going to convert this into a mixed number. And then whatever that mixed part of it is, like the actual fraction part of it is, we'll turn that into hours. Watch this. Nice and easy. So 16 divided by 3. Well, how many times does 3 go into 16? Well, that's going to be 5 times with a remainder of 1. So what this is going to turn into is going to be 5 whole days. 5 whole days. And then what we're going to have is a remainder. And the remainder is going to be 1 out of 3. So we have 5 days and 1 over 3 days. This right here, this right here, that's what we're going to convert into hours. Because a third of a day, how many hours is that? Again, that's one third, right? So how do we convert days to hours? Well, remember, there are 24 hours for every day. So what we can do here is two things. One, if that's a third, well, then 24 hours divided by three is eight. That's absolutely what you can do. Absolutely what you can do. A third of a day, again, a third of a day is a third of 24 hours. That's one way you can think about it. Now, I have a bunch of lessons on converting units. I even have a strategy video on how to convert units. So if this part is confusing to you, make sure to pop into that strategy video for converting units. That way you can feel real confident about it. But a third of 24 is the same as 24 divided by 3, and that is 8 hours. Right there, my party people. So our final answer will be 5 days, 5 days and 8 hours working alone working alone for the faster roofer because again that's what f equals that's what f equals and that was the faster roofer and so that's five days eight hours making b the correct answer and so as always my party people look it's always about taking it one step at a time this one was a challenging problem because we're not going forward with working together and finding time it's a combined work word problem where we're working backwards. And so remember that you got to know how to fit your pieces into your problem and see what's going on so you know how it all works. But with that said, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions at all because I got your back. I'll see you in the next one. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.